So uh, the press is making a big deal out of all the security arrangements, 25,000 National Guard, as you may know. This is hyping up uh, the quote unquote potential danger from the right wing. Um, It's bogus. I don't believe there'll be any problem uh, of significance throughout the country on Wednesday unless the people causing the problem want to go to the federal penitentiary. Now, maybe there's a few who do. Maybe there's people out there uh, in the right wing precincts who want to be sentenced to harsh terms in the federal penitentiary because that's what will happen. All right. The days of allowing uh, violent protests are pretty much coming to an end on both the right and the left in this country. So people have had enough. Critical mass has been reached. I know you'll say, well, the left wing doesn't get. And it's true that in many liberal cities, uh, far left Antifa people ran wild in the summer. We all know it. We all saw it. We're not held accountable. But since the capital situation, that, in my opinion, has ended. And now law enforcement people, whether they be police, whether they be district attorneys, uh, whatever they may be, if they don't enforce the law, the people will take it out on them. And, you know, it's all about what's good for me in uh, this country. So that's why I do not believe there's going to be any widespread protests on Wednesday. Might be a few picketers here and there. I don't expect them to be violent because you'll go to the federal penitentiary, as will many of those protesters, looters, thugs, traitors who broke into the Capitol. There are a lot of them going. And they didn't know when they picked up the Confederate flag in the morning to break a window to go into the Capitol, that they're going to spend two or three years in federal penitentiary. Believe me, they did not know that. Well, they will. Um, all right. So uh, after the inauguration, uh, Lady Gaga apparently going to sing the uh, national anthem, maybe before Lady Gaga. And then Jennifer Lopez is going to be performing. I, I hope it doesn't involve a poll. <laughs> For those of you white. say, Super Bowl halftime show last year. You know what I'm talking about. I don't think we need that here. Uh, maybe a flagpole, but, you know, I hope Miss Lopez stays away from the poll. Donald Trump will hold a farewell um, ceremony at Andrews Air Force Base about 8 a.m. Um, he'll thank people, I'm sure, and then he'll fly off to Florida to his uh, club in Mar-a-Lago. Um, we don't know many of the details yet, but I should have all of that tomorrow. And I will, of course, report to you.